And finally, we have great news today. After all the chaos that happened due to the new policies released by Unity regarding the pricing model, we were all aware of Unity's recent changes to the price model. So since September 12, 2023, Unity announced that it would be implementing a new Unity runtime fee on January 1st, 2024. The fee will be charged the developer a flat fee for each installation of Unity game after specific download and revenue threshold are met. The news was met with widespread backlash from game development community with many developers expressing concerns that the new fee would be unfair and harmful to small and indie developers. But today we have great news and a letter from Unity on their official website apologizing for the mistake they have made and for changing the uh, contract or the terms of using Unity suddenly with a, with a retroactive uh, effect that is unfair and I think it's even illegal to change any agreement without notifying the third person or the person in the contract. So we have this letter of apology from Mark Witten. I think he is manager in Unity. And they apologizing for the chaos they created. And now they fixed all what was concerning us. And I think it's now fair and I'm happy with those changes. So we can see the main points here to the changes. Now the Unity personal users will remain free and there will be no runtime fee for games built on Unity Personal. And also, not only that, they increased the threshold of 100K to 200K, so you can keep using Unity Personal and, uh, until you reach 200K gross revenue, and also you can remove the Made with Unity splash screen uh, as you want, so it's not uh, necessary to have that splash screen. Uh, yeah, you can remove it or keep it as long as you using Unity Personal before it was forced to show that splash screen. So this is a great uh, generous feature from them. Then uh, the runtime fee is still applicable, but they increased the threshold to a really reasonable number so now they increased the threshold from 200k to 1 million dollar gross revenue in the trailing 12 months so that's really fair i think and logical for those creators on unity pro and unity enterprise we are also making changes based on your feedback the runtime fee policy will only be applicable starting from the date of releasing the Unity 2024 and beyond the LTS version. So that's only the date. So if your games are currently shipped and the projects you are working currently on will not be included unless you choose to upgrade them to this new Unity version. So there are two conditions. The first condition is to use Unity 2023 LTS version. The second condition is releasing the new Unity 2024 LTS version. So that date. And also they promise that they will make sure that you can stay on the terms applicable for the version of Unity Editor you are using as long as you keep using that version. So for the games that are subject to the runtime fee, they giving the choice to either have 2.5% revenue share or calculating the amount based on the number of the new people engaging with your game each month. So both of these numbers are self-reported from the data you already have available. And that's great news also. And about the Unity calculator, they provided us with a calculator to estimate 
the runtime fees after you answer all those questions. So, and to be clear and to avoid any misunderstanding related to the runtime fee and the estimations, they have created this runtime fee estimator to help you know if the games you developed are applicable for this runtime fee and how much you should pay based on this new fees. So here are some questions that you need to answer to know if the, the runtime fees are applicable for your game or not. Unity Personal is still free for everybody until you reach the cap of 200k US dollar in the trailing 12 months. This includes all your company revenue, not only this game. So you need to be careful about that. So if you answered this with yes, and the game has been created using Unity 2023 LTS release or later. So no games created with any currently supported Unity version will be impacted by the runtime fee until they are updated to Unity 2023 LTS. However, you can enable this box to model the future costs. So this is important. Also, it's not Unity 2024 LTS version. You should avoid using Unity 2023 LTS if you don't want to be imposed to the runtime fees. After you reach the 200K cap and you used Unity 2023 LTS, then you should pay for Unity Pro. And after you reach the Unity Pro, there is a cap or threshold of 1 million US dollars. So if your game exceeded a gross revenue more than 101 million US dollar in the trailing 12 months, this includes all revenue generated from the retail sales, in-app purchases, subscription fees, web payments, offline payments, and ads-based revenue from the last 12 months. So if you choose yes, you have more than 1 million and also you should achieve more than 1 million initial engagements live to date. The initial engagement is defined as the moment that distinct end user successfully and legitimately acquires downloads or engage with the game powered by Unity Runtime for the first time in the distribution channel. So if we choose this yes, for all those choices, you generated one, more than 1 million, you have more than 1 million initial engagements, and your game is using Unity 2023 LTS release or later. At this point, you can choose between paying 2.5% out of your total profit of the company, or you can choose to use this uh, runtime fee using this calculator. So for example, if you own Unity Pro and your estimated revenue is 500K, then you are paying 10K 260. So the runtime fee percentage is 2.05. If you switch to Unity Enterprise, then the fee will be less. It's 1.69. So based on the Unity version and based on the monthly estimates, as you can see, the more you generate, the more, uh, the less the runtime fees. So based on each different scenario, based on the Unity version and based on the monthly estimated revenue and the engagement, then this fee will calculate how much exactly that you should pay. And it's in all cases capped to the maximum 2.5 percentage. So I'm really happy that Unity fixed the chaos has been created before and now I think they can regain the developers trusts, even me and now I'll continue proceeding with publishing new content and tutorials about Unity and I have great news for you. I have been invited to Unite 2023 in Amsterdam in Netherlands and I will be covering the event as much as I can on this channel. So till next video, see you soon.